Welcome to another Knowledge Nugget. Today's focus will be on calibration requirements when handling a Cortex device. The content of today's clip includes the purpose of calibrating a system, classifying calibration into different types, and lastly, processing steps for successful calibration. Calibration in metrology is a standard measuring process that determines and documents the deviation of gas readings in a measuring device. Thus, calibration is the process of regulating those values. Periodically, we have to perform calibration so we can expose the sensors to a known concentration gas in order to adjust and correct any drifts of the values, ensuring this way precise measurements. Calibration in Cortex devices are classified into a one- and two-point calibration. Both calibrations look at the linear relationship between a defined gas concentration and the measured gas signal that is collected from the sensor. The one-point calibration lasts less than one minute and the two-point calibration only two minutes. The one-point calibration on our software it is called sensor adjustment and uses fresh ambient air to perform its validity. As described earlier, this step is repeated before each test with the help of a background view. The two-point calibration consists of two steps, sampling of the ambient air and sampling of the medical gas. By reading these two values, we check for any potential drifts of the sensor. As depicted on the clip, the intervals of a two-point calibration are performed every two or four weeks for each respective device. Moreover, the calibration of the reusable turbine is mandatory to ensure accurate flow volume data. It is performed before every test and with the help of a 3-liter calibration pump, five successful strokes need to be completed. But this is not necessary when using a disposable turbine since they are pre-calibrated during manufacturing. To sum it up, calibration is necessary for medical devices where reliability and validity are vital across different occupations in medicine, exercise and sports. Standardized guidelines and actions must be followed when conducting calibration in order to achieve high measurement accuracy through reliable gas and volume sensors. Thank you for joining.